and welcome back to the channel. On this video, as you see, we've got, well, I should turn on the bike, but we have the Lyric Graffiti right here. And we have the Aerial Rider Grizzly, which means, got my friend Keith with us. How are you I'm doing, Keith? Mark. So we're at Pizza Hut right now. See the sign there? In King City, Oregon. And we're gonna head where, Keith? Uh, Spring Garden Park, which is headed towards, towards the downtown area of Portland. So we're okay. tigered, what, King City to pretty close to downtown? Just right outside the downtown area. Okay, and so Keith has added something to the aerial rider grizzly right there. He's got a, a new headlight. It's a much needed headlight, brighter light. Okay, and he's also got another tail light right there, which is nice and bright. Look at the difference between the the one here that comes with the bike. Yeah. And then look at the one down there. What big difference. All right, so Keith is going to be the leader and I shall follow. So I guess we're just going to take Highway 99 and it turns into Barber Boulevard. We'll just take that all the way up. And what's the name of the park? Uh, Spring Garden Park. Spring Garden Park is where we're headed. And it's Sunday, light traffic, so it should be a nice little ride. It's early in the morning. What is it? 5.30? It is. 5.43. Yep. Yeah. Where are you going? <laughs> All right. All right. Forgot to put my kickstand up. That's never good. With no traffic around this hour of the morning, you can go around the speed bumps, which is nice. Just gonna tilt this camera up a little bit higher. Okay, hang on. I'll we'll just continue on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I had the kickstand on the bike and it was making that noise. I, oh, I forgot to take the kickstand. I never get on from this side. And so uh, I didn't realize the kickstand was still down. Duh. That helmet light's nice. I like it. Yeah, this is the X Nito helmet. It's great. And it gives you that three options yeah. on the back for if you want the fast flashing, the slower flashing, or the... Um, <clears throat> The uh, steady light. Yeah, I like it a lot. The solid light. It's bright, but it's not too bright. You know, it's not, of course, it's not too dim. Hopefully, we can trigger this. Yeah, and a combination of all this, they should see us. Yeah. And you're all lit up, for sure. Yeah, I will be fine. I'm pretty sure this is bike lane all the way up. Yeah, there's bike lane quite a ways up. And if anything, we have a shoulder to ride on. Can you way. ride along beside 217? No, nah, there, there's there too any, much construction uh, right now. Like the whole highway is under construction right there. Because, no, is there a bike lane on the side there? I don't think so. All right, so we're on to 99 W. We're gonna try to keep our speed conservative here in the 20, 25 mile per hour. So we can save a little bit on our battery. Now, since we're going so early on a Sunday morning on this ride, that should help to uh, avoid some traffic. Lots of gravel there. This bike lane is terrible. Lots of, uh, as I like to say, crap in the bike lane. But uh, yeah, if you're uh, familiar with this area, you'll know that this is one of the busy highways here in the area. Lots of traffic all the time. It's 
speed limit right here is 40 miles an hour. I hear lots of pops and clicks from running over the different things in the bike lane. One thing about riding at night, and I pointed this, this out in the past, is that you can't see as well, even with this great headlight that's on the Lyric Graffiti, you still can't see as well, and uh, you certainly can't see the debris in the bike lane, so you're just kind of hoping for the best. Uh, and hopefully not running anything over that's going to give you a puncture in your tire. But if you're ever going to ride on this highway, this is the best time to do it. Sunday morning, early morning. Going by Park Street. So on this ride, we're looking at a temperature of, I think it was, uh, if I remember, 61 degrees. So not too bad. I'm definitely equipped with warm clothing because it's always cool on the bike when it's uh, a dark ride and uh, it's nice to be warm and not freezing because it's always cooler riding the bike than it is the temperature. You get a little bit of a fan or sometimes a lot of a fan by riding. Uh, the faster you ride the more the fan is. So if we wanted to go downtown Tigard we would turn right right there. Always sketchy in here because of the friggin' debris. Oh, look at this. Almost think it's better just to stay on the road. Just got poked in the leg by a stick. I was going to say, I don't know if we should have went this way. There's not a lot of traffic on the road. I think we might have been better to stay on there. Yeah, this is really, you wouldn't want to go right at all. 
down that embankment you would go. Thankfully, we're at the end of that. I'm running over things, but I don't know what they are. Oh, the bike lanes are super rough on this part. So we could just take 217. Is your bike fast enough? <laughs> maybe not. Yeah, maybe the Graffiti X can handle it. There's no bike lane here, so we'll take the car lane for the moment. And that's Dartmouth right there. And onward we go. Speed limit here is lower. 35 miles per hour. Can't see the potholes till the last second. Now we get a bike lane. Look at that, the light magically turned green for us. Hopefully the Insta360 X4 is picking this up decently because these cameras don't really like the darkness. And so uh, this is, I am shooting this in 4K 
60 frames per second. Hopefully it's decent. I better get a little speed up to catch up to Keith. We're coming up to I-5, Interstate 5. Of course, we can't take Interstate 5 because our bikes are not permitted. So we can't go on I-5 because uh, our bikes are not permitted. <laughs> That's one thing I hate about Oregon bike lanes, like right there in that situation where they let this lane make a right hand turn in front of you, you know, it's a very dangerous intersection. It is, the, the, yep. And even these, uh, when you're out in the middle there, when you're in the split lanes, yeah. you know, with the bike, that's always dangerous. You got green. Yeah, it, it is. It, just, it makes me nervous to go through there, you know. Why don't they have, uh, like a bike lane? Why, why don't they have bike lanes along I 5 there? On the side, you know, like up pedestrian path. Right. And this is sketchy right here. This is 99W as we cross the Interstate 5. No bike lane here. Yeah, this is kind of sketchy right here with no bike lane. Yeah, I almost want to ride the bike, the sidewalk. Yeah, I know, but then you're not allowed to do that. You're not really supposed to. No. But it'd be safer to go across, you know, on the sidewalk. Yeah. Because cars do 50, 60 miles an hour through here, you know? Yeah. Gotta watch that nobody's coming there. We're good. Yeah, this is kind of a sketchier area here for the e-bikes, or for any bikes for that matter. But now we've got a bike lane once again. Passing Southwest 53rd Avenue. Here we are, still in the early part of September, heading toward mid-September here, and the leaves are falling already. I'm going at a steady 23, 24 miles per hour, 25. By not riding too fast, conserve a little battery. That's a good, comfortable speed in that 25, you know, you're not tearing it up, but you're not going too slow. And you get to coast a little bit. 
and there's a little downhill like we just are on which is nice and this bike having regen braking is also nice because it puts a little juice back in the battery So now we're up to, if you're familiar with the area, Capitol Highway. Yeah, I still think this headlight outweighs yours. Oh yeah, I got mine on low right now. Oh okay, yeah, conserve a little. Yeah, that's mine on high. But yeah, yours is super bright though. Yeah, I just run it full speed ahead, you know. Yeah. Get the maximum lighting you can get. That's the thing, they have the high beam, low beam. I tend to use my high beam if I'm out doing any night riding because I want to see where I'm going. And uh, the uh, Lyric Cycles definitely hit it out of the park with this headlight, I'll say that. And it's such a great headlight, they put it on all their bikes, which I can't blame them for. And get this light here. It's a seven inch DOT approved headlight with 6,000 lumen. Boy, sometimes they call it a bike lane and you really get squeezed. It's an adventure just to keep your bike in the bike lane sometimes. Some people will say you're lucky to have a bike lane, but sometimes it's not that great. Like I say, if you got to dodge elements, Oh, I hit that pothole. Couldn't see it. So this is southwest. 30th Avenue. I'm on the uh, sensor, but I don't. We're just going to hit it because a lot of times the e bike is so light, it doesn't sense that we're there. And we're going to go down a bit of a hill here. I'm going to go onto the road. I don't like the look of that shoulder with all that debris in there. Oh, twice I almost hit that rabbit. Oh, that was strange. The rabbit, uh, it went around the bike and then back in front again, curled back into the bike. I thought I was going to run him over or her. Almost ran over a rabbit twice. He goes in front of me, right? I, first, I didn't know what it was, and then I saw it was a rabbit. And then he cut back in front of the wheel. I thought, oh, almost lost control and almost ran him over both. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think Dylan was here. Where was that at? Just, just a minute ago on this uh, road. Yeah, 
Yeah. So is this the park? Yeah, right here. Well, kind of a park. Yeah. I know a good way to know we're at the park. You have to go check it out. Chime. We're at the park. <laughs> I think we made it. Let's watch Keith slide on his arse. <laughs> All right, awesome. So, what was the park again? I keep forgetting. <laughs> He's made his slide debut. Uh, so what's the name of this park? Uh, Spring Garden Park. So we made it from Pizza Hut in King City to Spring Garden Park. You don't see those slides anymore because they get super hot in the summertime. You remember those <laughs> when you were a kid? Yes, you know? you'd have a hot arse or they'd be wet and you'd yeah. get stuck halfway down. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that, yeah, that's true. Hopefully it wasn't a kid who wet himself or herself. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, that's... All right, well, that's going to do it for this fun ride in darkness. We made it to Spring Garden Park. Spring Garden Park. Yeah, it's really so what is the address of this one exactly? Uh, like the what, address? What do they call this area? Is this? I, this is Portland. Okay, it's Portland then. Okay. Yeah, this is, we're right on the edge of Portland. All right, so we made it to Spring Garden Park in Portland. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'd show you around a little bit here, but with the darkness, I don't think you're going to see much. Yeah, it's too dark. Other than Keith sliding down on his arse. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. That was an awesome ride. A little bit sketchy, but... Yeah, definitely sketchy. Um, Let's see, the everything from those, um, oh, the drains, those are a little sketchy because you don't see them, you know, at night, especially at nighttime. You don't see them until you come right up on it, and it's just really rough. And of course, those intersections we were talking about. Yeah, so there's a look. That's the stock lights on the uh, Grizzly and yours compared to yours. So once again, thank you for joining us on this video. Thank you, Keith. Yeah. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And also, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining Keith and I on this ride. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.